So hey everybody, welcome to World Warrior, our podcast where we play Street Fighter RPG Adventure. Yes, we have a name now for our podcast, World Warrior. Our cast has players from all around the world. I am Edu the Kami player, your game master or storyteller. I'm from Brazil. We also have... Uh, I'm Coyota, uh, also known as Casual Combos, uh, both on YouTube. And uh, I play Yoon Jun, uh, a Korean capoeira fighter. And I'm Pink Goggles. I'm in New Zealand. I play Wei Shun. He is a kung fu fighter. Uh, my name is Retro Girl, and I play Akemi Shioko. She's from Japan, and she does uh, Western kickboxing. On the previous game, we also had um, the Overlord, who was playing with Tylak. Uh, Overlord will not be joining us today, and we also had Steve Chocolate, or Boss Brown, who was playing as Gummo, and he might join us along the way, we'll see. So, anyways, um, we, had a lot f we have a lot to cover, but here's the thing, for the people listening, now you guys got to hear these people talking on the very first episode and on the very last episode, uh, on all the other ones, it was just me for the openings and the intros. So now there is other people for the opening, because we're starting a second session, continuing our adventure. So I'm gonna give you a break from just hearing from me. I'm gonna let these guys try to, to tell you what happened in the story so far. Anyone? Uh, <laughs> okay, so I think I have a pretty good memory, uh, somewhat. <laughs> so... What happened so far? Are we talking like everything that happened as a recap in a short? Yeah, you know? yeah. Just All give right. a. Yeah, I could do that. So everyone uh, went to a uncharted area. I forgot the name, but uh, they you know booked into a hotel where they eventually got a ride down to Las Vegas, I think, and they uh, were you know everyone was finding out about a tournament. And in the meantime, a lot of shenanigans happened in which, uh, I guess, between going to different hotel hotels and talking to different people, um, they we all got involved in helping out some guy who ran from Shadaloo, who was wiring money illegally, <laughs> and then that went to going to one of the hotels to get the information he left in the hotel before he escaped. And so Yoon Jun ended up getting into a fight with a boxer because he spoke out a little too much while one of the waiters were there speaking with Gamo. And uh, Gamo was asking for drinks and he was also cheering for the boxer during that fight too. <laughs> like a butt. <laughs> and after Yoon Jun won the fight by choice of, uh, I guess, like, you know, sort of a timeout victory sort of thing, um, the, uh, the team got the information, got it back to the guy, the, the ex Shadaloo person, but then unfortunately they weren't able to question him more for any kind of information and whatnot because the police were around. So everyone had to book it, and you know they went back to the previous hotel that they were staying at, which is really cheap and and run down. And uh, they're going to be competing in the tournament coming up. Yeah. So there you go. That's your recap for the day. Um, there's quite a few changes uh, in the meantime between our sessions. I've been reading a lot and learning a lot, and we did a few things wrong. Oh yes. So we're going to correct a few things. Uh, also, I forgot a few things. And also, I'm, I'm establishing some house rules that were suggested. So it turns out, uh, this game is kind of old, mm -hmm. right? The Street Fighter system was released in the 90s. Mm -hmm. And it turns out there's this group. They made a compilation of all the rules into just one book on the, the game's 20th anniversary. And mm -hmm. this thing is just fantastic it's super super amazing it has everything and else uh, like um, they got in touch because there's a few special maneuvers that are they are a little unbalanced so they got in touch with some of the guys that worked on the original book and they asked 
his input about how to balance these these special maneuvers. That's the level of dedication this this fan work has. So it's amazing. Mm. So I'm now following this book, and they they give a lot of suggestions and they explain a lot of things. So we're gonna change a few things. So first thing, combat. Combat is gonna change a little bit when you attack someone. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is you will roll your dexterity plus uh, your punch, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the defending person will not roll. You're only going to get the, your defense number, and that will be the number of dice that the attacker loses. So let's say Yunjun is throwing a kick, right? That will be your dexterity, yeah. which is 3, plus your kick, which is 1. So that's 4 die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then defender has, let's say, two in defense. So that means you will roll two dice. That's it. You're the only one that rolls. <sighs> and same thing for... Well, okay, sorry if it's boring. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. I just happened to be yawning <laughs> at the time. <laughs> that's all. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, how combat is going to change. Also, there's this thing in the book where you can use willpower to aid you in your rolls. I completely forgot about that. Now, uh, the book oh. does... Uh, there is, like, a little confusion in the book about some very specific scenarios. And the fan book gives a lot of options of how to, to deal with that. Mm -hmm. So, here's how it works. So, again, Yunjun, you have uh, five willpower, right? Yeah. At any point, you can spend a willpower to have an extra success. See? Oh. So, for, to anything, combat or non-combat related. Let's say you want to, I don't know, be alert to see if someone is looking. So you're going to roll your perception plus your alertness. And you can choose to use one willpower to have already one automatic success. You cannot use two willpower to have two successes. You can only Ooh, use one. Okay. okay. That goes for combat or outside combat. You can use that anytime. So that's in the book. Uh, hmm. What is not in the book is how to use chi in that way. And oh. I think that's a little unfair because some styles have more chi than willpower. So that's I decided to uh, find a use for chi. So what you will be able to do with chi is you can uh, add an extra die to anything you rolled. You have rolled already. So uh, willpower is an automatic success. And chi is just an extra die. But willpower you have to use before. And chi you can use later. Oh, so let's okay. say again you roll your alertness, your perception plus your alertness, and uh, you get no successes. So you may use your chi point to roll again one more die. Okay, so that's okay. how it's going to work. Uh, so yeah, so we cover that. Now I do want to ask how about your money situation, everybody? How much money do you have? I, I did. Uh... I I know I wrote that down yeah. somewhere. I know I, I have a lot, but I can't remember I have, exactly how I much. I think if I if I did the math right, I was counting. But I think if everything is correct, I should have nine hundred twenty-five. But I do owe way a little bit of money because of the very first ride we had to Las Vegas. Um, I think oh, it was yes. fifty or something. I am disappointed <laughs> with you guys if you were not keeping track of the I mean, money. I wrote it down. I know I had it somewhere though. That's the thing. It's uh, I just I've had so much files uh, opening up in the meantime for college that I'm like, oh geez, now it's all lost. Oh, I found it. I have five hundred five thousand three hundred sixty-five. There it is. So that's one. Uh, Wei Xin, do you know how much yeah, money you have? Let me just bring out the old calculator. Okay, I know how much I have. I have. Two hundred and fifty thousand and seven hundred. I only have nine hundred twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> I barely spend money. I just keep like saving, but sometimes I have to spend a little bit. So I was, I, I actually I spent most of just on the gambling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that but I got a little thing. bit back. So another thing that happened in between our sessions is our characters uh, were granted some experience points. They got three experience points for. Uh, finishing a game, though they didn't finish an adventure, which is worth more points. And nobody decided to do anything with your experience points, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because I wasn't sure where it could be applied or how it could be applied. Okay, so nobody used their experience points now, but they may use later to buy more abilities, to buy 
more special maneuvers, anything else. So maybe there's a surprise in a future game. Okay, so here's, here's what happened then. Everybody went back to the Euro Hotel, which was the Edit Man Hotel in St. Nomi Town. A very, very crappy hotel. Uh, and you had the most horrible night possible. Like, uh, the beds were very uncomfortable. They had loose springs. Oh, no. uh, some had blood stains. <laughs> some had other kinds of stains. Oh. Uh, they had a lot of dust. They had bugs crawling all around. There was mosquitoes biting you through the night. It was just complete and absolute horror. Right? So now it's the morning. Uh, I don't know uh, what you do. What what did you do during the nights? Mm, I, I slept I on the floor. I probably tried to sleep. Well, there's no other option. Um, I mean, you could like I don't know if we have anything with us to um, yeah, at least get rid of the mosquitoes. But uh, yeah, if we probably didn't sleep well, but we had to sleep. Like I at least I think Akimi would try to sleep since she needs at least a little bit of sleep. I just wonder, can they shower in the morning? <laughs> That'd be great. I'm gonna say if you want to have spent one bison dollar <laughs> to buy uh, like a, a, a cream or something that it's mosquito repellent. Yeah, that'd be great. She's spending it, okay. <laughs> okay so, yeah, I'll, how, so how much does a mosquito that. repellent cost? Uh, it's one bison dollar. I totally get that. One bi yeah, I'll, I'll spend, spend the one bison too. dollar. No, but they only have this in Japan. Uh, oh. Also, it's like... <laughs> We can she get brought it with her. Okay. Yeah, well, she can lend it to you. Hey, or you or rent oh, it. <laughs> nudge, <okay>. nudge. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, like. I mean, I don't know how big the the thing is. Uh, like, how much is in there? But I guess I can, you know, share a little bit of that. Just I don't know if it's possible. Then I do that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure, it's possible. Okay. So so at least the mosquito problem was solved. Yeah. Not blood getting sucked. So it, it's morning. Uh, what time do you do you think you would wake up? Uh, well, I'm not sure when the tournament starts, but I assume the tournament wake. is at night at seven. I'm definitely woke up around oh, shoot, nine well. a.m. because that's usually the time Akimi wakes up. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would all. I was about to say nine a.m. as well. <laughs> I'll go at eight. So. Oh. Shit. Okay, so Wei Xin wakes up first, and when you wake up, you see that there is. A number of missed calls on your cell phone, oh. and a message also. Oh, I gotta check that message now. Blip, blip, blip. The message is from Denzel Kincaid. Oh, my buddy. He's saying, "Hey, China man, why are you not picking up the phone?" <laughs> is this a message? That's the message. Oh, yeah. He called the number back. It's like Denzel. Sorry, I was asleep. What's up? Hey, China man. Yo. Yo. So you're finally awake! Yeah, sorry. How, what time do you wake up? <laughs> it's 8 o'clock. <laughs> well, I woke up at 6. Oh, okay. Crazy. As usual. As usual, okay. Yeah, I'm a fighter. Did we miss something? <laughs> so, um, I need to talk to you guys, you and your friends, about something you did last night. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm outside. Okay. Well, the others are sleeping. Should I go get them? Yeah, you should. Okay. Uh, go get them, I don't know, have breakfast or whatever, and meet me outside. Okay. See you in half an hour, then. Alright, China man. Okay. Thanks. Hangs up. He goes in and kicks the door down for <laughs> Yin Jun. <laughs> I wake up and I'm like, The hell are you think you're doing? We have to eat breakfast. You're ruining my beauty sleep. Oh, that's uh, that's another thing that we forgot to say. Something else happened uh, when oh, yeah. Wei Xin kicked the door to open. Wei Xin found only Yun Jun on the bedroom, although there are some extra mattresses there. What happened exactly, uh, Yun Jun? Maybe you got a phone call or a message. What was it? Yeah. Uh, what was it? Well, I know already that. Um... The other two uh, staff that I had with me, the cameraman and the cheerleader, they left when I had wired the money before from the uh, 
the at yeah during guy. during during the game we kind of said that only um, the 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 music man would leave you. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, that's right. We changed it to instead the cameraman uh, and the uh, actually everyone I think left. Yeah. So during the game we said only the cameraman, but turns out all of them left you. So during the night. I don't know, maybe they called you yeah, June, they, or they sent an email, or or maybe yeah, they, they posted pro- on your official they Facebook. Probably, yeah, posted on the Facebook you. or something. Oh, and I was just trying to sleep it through, you know. I was like, I don't need them anyway. <laughs> what is the name of the cheerleader again? Oh. I can't remember. <laughs> it's probably, uh, let me see. Uh, Ji Hyun. Yeah, yeah, Ji Hyun. Ji Hyun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Ji Hyun and also the cameraman and the music man, who, by the way, we don't know the names. Yeah, their names uh, are important. <laughs> they decided they decided to to leave uh, Yoon Jun during the night with an official post on your official Facebook, uh, which probably went viral uh, and yeah, everybody's talking a lot about of it. Stuff. Uh, but also something else happened, did it? Uh, yeah, most likely. Maybe, uh, may, maybe because they posted it uh, publicly on Facebook. Uh, the master I had saw it. Yeah, so uh, Yoon Jun's master uh, saw the post and he was very disappointed with Yoon Jun. Aww. And he also sent a message saying, I have no more student. Aww. And uh, he also decided to cut all the relationships, uh, his relationship with Yoon Jun. So, how is Yoon Jun looking when Wei Xin <laughs> opens the door? Now that we I, know all I'm that. All, I'm looking really salty. Like, I'm like, I don't need them anyway. <laughs> I, uh, like, I, we, it, what was it? Yoon Jun probably looks like he, he wants to cry like a, you know, like a little bee about it. But, you know, he's, of course, trying to hold back his sensitive little salty tears. <laughs> Well, uh... and Wei Xin, you can you can decide if you're someone that would have seen the Facebook post or not. I don't know. I didn't see the Facebook post, but um, I did know that his his people left him last night. So that's pretty sad. Um, so uh, I guess when I see him looking all sad, just I'll. What I was gonna do was kick the door open, drag them out, tell them to eat breakfast so that we have we have to go, sort of thing. But, um, yeah, I just Wei Xin just approaches Yun Jun and just it's like it's okay, we just we just need to go, just grab something to eat. I'll go get a Kimmy, okay? No, I, I just <laughs> you know kind of sit there crossing my arms like I can help myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so right about now the door on Akemi's uh, bedroom opens silently and if you're not awake you said 9 so it's not 9 yet you're very lightly uh, shaken on your shoulder by someone who's waking you up and when you open your eyes you see the receptionist and he's holding like a tray with um, an omelette and uh, a cup of coffee and Whoa. a flower. <laughs> and he's saying, Well, good morning, pretty lady. I've made you some breakfast, yo. <laughs> Lucky. So, like, I wake up, <laughs> Lucky? I smell the, the fried egg, and I smell the coffee, and i rubbing my eyes and go, like, It's morning already? I'm like, oh, Breakfast? You, you... Yeah, pretty lady, I made you breakfast. Oh. I went and did it all by myself. Here, there's a flower for you. Oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah, you're very pretty. Did you know, do you know oh, that, pretty no. lady? <laughs> uh, Street th- pretty. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> I guess. I mean, I would gladly take the breakfast, I guess. So I... Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this here. You can, you know, you eat here and you think about stuff. And maybe you look at that pretty flower and you think, well, where... The flower came from and what it means, and then you can meet me at the reception later, huh? Uh, 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 and then he winks at you and leaves. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and let's say oh Wei Xin and Yun Jun pass by him as he's coming back to the reception. I just wonder if he knows how old I came here. 
<laughs> he probably knows that's why. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh gosh. Um, well, we shouldn't. Didn't make much of it at first. He just he just yeah. went to go. Well, to... you you didn't see what happened. You just see him like yeah, coming out, yeah. coming out, right? Yeah, yeah, coming out, and then you get to her room and yeah. she's there. I mean, I'm already tray. thinking like, ew, this guy like went into Akemi's room. Who <laughs> yeah. is like, what's your rage again? <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking at Wei Shin. Like, yo, dude, did you just see that? He gave her breakfast. We're gonna. Add, I, I just want to know if she paid for that. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Yeah, right. But I just appreciate. It goes up to her. I, I love eating. I think breakfast is great. It's important, most important meal in the day. I will gladly accept the breakfast. I just don't know much about why I get a flower. I don't want to eat the flower. I mean, you know, it's like I do get he does it as a present, but you no, know, I just for now ignore that and just eat the breakfast. Okay, so Akemi eats her her uh, wonderful breakfast. She eats and, it uh, already. I, guess... <laughs> well, I have it on yeah. my on my bed. I got it on the plate. <laughs> yeah. Can I try and stop her? And, and I guess I guess you guys are just are just looking at her as she eats. No, no. The I breakfast. also say good morning by the way and stuff. And I go like, oh, good morning, guys. I just not ignoring while you. eating. Like, Yo, <laughs> yeah, I mean, where'd like... you get that from? You know, like cutting the egg and saying good morning while doing so. And where, where, where'd you get the really breakfast from? really wants to stop her at this point and ask if um, she paid for that breakfast, if she paid, like, Who premium. gave her the breakfast? That's my question. I want to know how okay, that got are, her. Are you physically trying to stop her? Yeah, I'll, I'll grab her wrist if I have to for now. Okay, then let's say, let's roll something then. Okay. Let's roll uh, dexterity. Dexterity? Okay. It's a d10, right? Yeah. Roll three d tens and see how many you get. Oh, you botched! Ah, she just so, I, instead it, I fling her <laughs> food into her mouth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh boy. So that happens. I wonder if it. You I accidentally push the food <laughs> into her face and. Okay. okay. Oh, don't you please spit it out? <laughs> I'm first of like probably wait. What did she did? What did she got on my face? The coffee or the egg or what? No, the egg. The egg went into like into your face. Like she tried to reach for the eggs, and at the same time, you tried to um, like lift the plate away from her, and she ended up pushing it on your face. Okay, so I probably wipe away a little bit of my face. Clean, I'm cleaning my face. I'm um, so sorry. I put the plate <laughs> on the side, and also the fork with it or the spoon. Um, and you know, tasting the egg and just stood looking at the side, like, wow, what, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need to know if you've paid for that. I'm like, mm, no, I just got that. What? Stop eating it. Got it from who? <laughs> what? Who'd you get it from? But he was just giving me. <laughs> I mean, it was just. Why shouldn't I eat that? I mean, uh. I want to know who it came from. Well, do you think it's poison? Maybe. No, I just, I'm just curious of who it came from. I mean, I, part of me is thinking that the guy who just walked out, you know, the uh, front desk dude. Yes. Is. Oh. Oh. You should spit you know that what? out right Actually, now. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and eat that. Why? <laughs> Do you, you know guys actually... No, I mean, she drank all that alcohol before. I think she can handle it. it. It'll put some hair on her chest. Wait, you guys actually think he's putting something in the food? I do. <laughs> oh, Nothing's I just think free. he's a terrible cook. Nothing's for free. Well, I didn't mind the paying much. I wanted to buy breakfast anyways. It's different. It's, it's different if you pay. But since you didn't pay... There's gotta be some other cost, and I'm paranoid. I just thought I got out to pay it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm paranoid. <laughs> I think this might be the name of the episode. <laughs> I just so I I just take the spoon out. I might have tried a little bit of it. I mean, it can prevent tasting it. It's, but uh, yeah, you wait a little bit, and it's delicious. Oh. Yeah, it, it does taste great. It's like. Uh, I just put the spoon away for now, and um, I say, well, let's just ask about that, and I just leave it here for now. Is that okay? 
What are you going to say? Well, How I'm just going to ask me? if I have pay, to pay to... for that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so I get up <laughs> and uh, uh, I guess... Okay, so are, are you guys going to wake up the rest of your crew? Because uh, uh, Overlord and uh, Steve Chocolate might not be here, but the characters <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. are. Well, I'll try to go grab them because it's... Uh... My phone call with Denzel. Yunjun, can you look after Akemi? Make sure she doesn't do something. Well, also, why do you try I to, have to stay out of trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna get mm. the others. And uh, Wei Xing goes to look for um, Overlord and Camo. I would like and to also Thylak. And oh, sorry, Thylak. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, so Wei Xing goes to their bedroom and. Uh, as you knock on Tylek's room, there's no answer. I'm guessing that after some time, you're gonna bust in mm. as you were about to do that with Yunjun. And there's no sign of uh, Tylek there. Uh, his bags are there, but he's not there. And then when you go to Gamo's room, uh, you find the door opened. Uh, and when you enter, He's also not there, but his bags are not there. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I would just assume that Gamo, since he, he started off in that expensive hotel, maybe he couldn't stand this place and move to another place. But I have no idea what happened to Thylak. Okay, so as that happens, Yunjun and Akemi approach the reception. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, uh... I don't know, if, is he standing there? Oh, hey there, pretty lady. Did you enjoy the breakfast? <laughs> He's like, uh, I haven't gotten to actually eat it yet because I wanted to, to ask for if I have to pay for that and if yes. Oh, no, no, don't be silly, pretty lady. Not for someone as pretty as you. Mm. So I take a look over to June and it's like, you know, and then like, I just, I put my arm over Kevi's shoulder, you know, just wrap it around like a bro. I'm like, yo, so how about my breakfast? I'm quite pretty myself if I say so myself. Yeah, I can make you some breakfast. You want to uh, buy breakfast, son? <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, but uh, you, uh, she doesn't have to pay, but I have to. Yeah, son, she's a pretty lady, you gotta treat the ladies well. Didn't your mother teach you anything? Well, I mean... I, like I said, I think Hey, I'm... listen here, son, when you see a pretty lady, you gotta treat her well. Alright? Alright, alright, yeah, sure, I'll pay for breakfast. <laughs> hey, cool, we can have breakfast together, I guess. <sighs> yeah, we can have breakfast together, oh, great! Uh... <laughs> alright, so... I guess I'm going to uh, bring my breakfast to your bedroom. How about uh, that, no, then? No, no, I, uh, and he ve <laughs> he is very excited as he goes into the oh, back God. room. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> Weishin returns to Akemi's room. Oh, God. <laughs> he just so, waits, I guess. I guess. Well, he, he, he probably wants to, went to go see reception. I, I just look at Akemi I, and I just like... Yo, know, I just grab her shirt. I'm like, now look at what you did, you punk. Oh, you gotta watch your words. I just wanted to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> so uh, Wei Xin uh, appears at the reception right about at the same time that the receptionist is coming out of the back room. And he's holding a tray with some partially eaten uh, eggs and a little piece of toast and a beer. Oh, no. Drink. And it's like, all right, I'm all set, little pretty lady. Where are you going with that? <laughs> I, I'm... Well, she invited me to eat breakfast with her. No, no, it's a misunderstanding. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Oh, I got what? it. You're just making fun of me, no, huh? No, no, no. The, the, <laughs> the actual the truth is, I, I, I get I'm, it. I'm, I'm in a relationship. And then I take <laughs> a Kemi, I just... I'm in a relationship. I take a Kemi, and I just pull her aside. I'm like, what did I tell you about words? You see, I, you know, that thing you said earlier about, you know, being respectful to women. You know what? You are right. I need to be more respectful to her. In fact, you know what? I'll pay for her meal, if that's okay. Uh, just for the hell of it. 
Yeah, no, that would be total okay. It's ten bison dollars. All right, ten bison dollars. Here you go. Oh yeah. Also, uh, I want my meal too. Yeah, that's gonna be twenty bison dollars. <laughs> Let's do it. What just happened? Why are you losing money? <laughs> Why are you eating here? No worries. <laughs> Why are you eating here? <laughs> so he leaves his tray. And... I give. I put my twenty bison dollars on the desk. Okay, so he he takes uh, the thirty, I guess, because you're paying for her meal, right? Too, right? Yeah. Okay, so he takes the thirty bison dollars, and he leaves his tray with the partially eaten food and the beer, and says, "All right, here's your meal, then, boy." Thank you. And I just give you're him welcome. a fist bump. I'm all like, "Hey." He does not fist bump you. <laughs> oh. I just pull he my seems... hand back and comb over my hair. <laughs> He seems like pretty I'm upset. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... But it's... <laughs> the way she has no idea. <laughs> What's what going on? Okay, just eat your breakfast. And then, Akemi, what is it? So I take breakfast. my tray... I, I take Akemi with me and my tray of food. And I whisper to Weishin, Oh yeah, I think he wanted to talk to you. <laughs> the receptionist. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. Talk, talk to him. I think uh, he. I don't know. He had a few words he wanted to he share with you. I'll be upstairs with a Kemi eating breakfast. Shh, Kemi. Shh. Okay. Words. Remember what I said about words. Receptionist, <laughs> you wanted a word. Now why are you here, son? Are you making fun of me too? You break my heart too. He's crying. <laughs> I'm just snickering too? in the background as I walk up the stairs no, with a Kemi to, the, like that. to our room. <laughs> What do you want? I thought you wanted to say something. Haven't you guys learned enough? And he, he goes out crying. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay. God. I, I, poor guy. Maybe he's not so bad. And I guess he... Wait, well, feels a bit bad because uh, maybe he's just some simple guy. Hmm. But still, better safe than sorry. And uh, he goes back to the other two, and then, um, what were they doing? They're just eating, eating happily. Well, there? what was it? I I wait before eating my meal. I kind of poke and I, I poke the, the egg of mine <laughs> a little bit and thought. And I, I, I look to Wei Xin and I'm like, here, Wei Xin, taste test this. Why am I taste testing this? You bought this. Uh, you know, you're country kid or something you have a strong stomach right and he was gonna say something but his stom stomach was like <laughs> so um yeah we could share this meal together you and me <laughs> way shane phones rings he picks up hello china man what's happened it's been 40 minutes i know i'm sorry a lot of i'm drama. talking with the receptionist accent now <laughs> huh <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry. I kind of, I got my voice a little. I'm, I'm sick, you know. It's okay. Sorry, it takes so long. We had some drama with some breakfast. Uh, we'll be out soon. Well, hurry yeah, up, we gotta man. hurry up now. Okay, <laughs> just eat your breakfast. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I just fine. gotta. Uh, so I eat mine. And I uh, just... So uh, mm. everything tastes great. Mm, yeah, it does. Uh, the only thing about Yunjun's is that well, he was eating before, so it's a little gross. Mm. But other than that, it is it tastes pretty good. I'm like, uh, there's shoot. beer. <laughs> I don't know if you like beer, but there's beer. I I and, hand uh, it to Wei Xin. I'm like, wait, beer. wait, Wei Xin is not eating anything. No, he's not eating anything. Okay, I'm gonna penalize people for skipping meals. Okay. Because money is important. Okay. How's that money gonna okay, disappear? So <laughs> um, yeah. He waits. Okay so, waits. okay, so you just eat and you go outside? You pack your bags? You don't pack your bags? Mm, just grab, like, the necessities. Like a yeah, fight, same. fight pack, bandages, and all muscle tape, tension tape, and all that. And my okay, wallet, of so, course. <laughs> okay, so as you go outside, you see, um,. Denzo Kincaid, mm -hmm. and he's waiting. Uh, the manual says, Denzo is a handsome man of medium build and mixed Hispanic descent. He keeps his hair short and favors loose-fitting silk clothes. 
He walks with a cocky stride but has an open smile and an easygoing attitude. That's pretty, isn't it? Um, yeah, so that's uh, what the manual says about him. So he's in a car. Actually, he's outside the car. He's eating like a, like a, a piece of fruit and constantly looking at his watch. And uh, oh yeah, and he sees you guys coming out and says, Whoa, Chinaman, you guys take a long time to be ready. Sorry. Ah, well, what can I say? Things. We're a bunch of ladies here. Not myself included necessarily, but you know, guy got to keep up his good looks too. What can I say? Wait, where's the other two? <laughs> the other two went, well, they're not in their rooms. Well, go, go get them. I can't. They're not there. I don't know where they went. What? Oh my god. But they were with you guys last night, right? Yeah, we all came in together. Yeah, no. You guys did a little more than come to this hotel together. I know what you've been up to. Oh. Uh, I want to talk to you about that. But you should get them. That might be a little bit You know bit where difficult. they are. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like you know where they are. No, I don't know where they are. I just know that this uh, is related to them. Okay. As it is related to you guys, too. Uh-huh. I don't know how to find them. They're not uh, well, there. Okay, did, did they leave the hotel? We were all asleep. No one saw anything. Um, well, ask the reception or something. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we just had a thing with him. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Maybe I should talk to him and apologize? Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I should explain the situation with, to him, I guess. Alright, yeah. you guys, stay here. Uh, well, maybe it's related to this. And he, what? he shows a wallet. I, I found this outside as I was waiting for you to be prepared. Uh, you guys want to roll uh, perception? Perception, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's see, perception. Two and a five for me, so nothing. Okay. Oh, wow, I got, uh, I guess, all four successes wow. for my perception. Okay, <laughs> so me and Akemi both just forget Botched. it. Botched. <laughs> So I have enough perception to know what it is, I guess. Okay, but well, uh, they botched, yeah, or they just didn't get successes. What? Uh, I can be botched, and uh, Wei Xin just didn't get a success. Because uh, botch is when you get more ones than successes, and botch is, is really bad. Mm. So let's say that Yun Jun quickly recognizes that as Tylex wallet. And oh shoot! That's Tylex. Upon hearing that, Akemi is so surprised that like she takes a step back and uh, like steps in a puddle of muddy water or something. <laughs> okay, that sucks. And your shoe is completely drenched in muddy oh, water. Okay. <laughs> I just I look at Akemi. I'm like, what did I say about um? Well, uh, watching where you are. Yeah. Why are you so mean yeah, watch to where me? You are, oh, so. <laughs> I so that's your head. friends? Yeah, it was just lying here on the ground. Hmm. I just look at that. I'm like, wow, that's interesting. Why would he leave his wallet? I mean, that guy was... Uh, actually, that guy was kind of interesting. Oh, here, take it. Uh, anyways, I guess it's just you guys. So here's the thing. Um, I feel I can trust you. I mean, Chinaman, you're pretty cool. And I guess your friends are cool, too. Um, I know what you guys were up to last night. See... I'm mostly I mostly joined these these Street Fighter tournaments to get close to an organization called Shadowloo, and I've been I've uncovered a few things. Now, you know Barog, the guy who's sponsoring this tournament. He has a manager called Mr. Ray, and Mr. Ray was doing a lot of shady business, and Mr. Ray was stealing from a lot of people. Mr. Ray has been stealing from Barog for many years. Uh, and he just recently started stealing from Shadowloo. So Shadowloo was starting to come after Mr. Ray. And um, Mr. Ray had an accountant that was doing the heavy work for this business of his. Mm. And uh, it's my understanding that that accountant searched for you guys. And yeah. you guys entered Mr. Ray's office and got the evidence that ultimately led to his arrest, isn't it? Yes. How did... Wait, it led to his arrest? 
Yes, Mr. Ray has been arrested. Oh. And Barog is, well, very upset about that. Does Barog mm. know that he's been stealing from him? Well, he refuses to believe. Hmm. Well, I guess, I mean, if he's been arrested by the police, doesn't that protect him from at least Balrog and Shadowloo in some way? Because that means he's... No, no our oh, no, guy... Yes, but our... you see, uh, my family traveled around the, the globe constantly when I was a child. My father was a dancer. Uh, he taught me everything I know about capoeira. I'm a capoeira master, the best in the world. And... Um, well, it turns out he was more than just a, a dancer. He was a secret agent for the Brazilian police. That's why I speak with a Brazilian accent. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Nice. <laughs> and, um... Well, my father uncovered some... Some... Things that led him to Shadaloo and... But... He... When I was about a teenager, he got into a... Accident. And he does air quotes... So I've been searching Shadowloo ever since, and uh, I was getting close to them, and then you guys made this whole scene with Mr. Ray, and now the jig's up. So here's the thing, Mr. Ray has hidden in his office a very important document about a secret Shadowloo project. Now I don't think Mr. Ray knew about that, it's very hidden, and... You guys missed it when you went there. So what's happening right now is that the police has isolated the hotel. And they're sending some special investigators there to do a thorough search. But Shadowloo has agents everywhere, including the police. And these special agents, or at least one of them, is going to be a Shadowloo man. And he's gonna go there and he's gonna destroy that evidence. We cannot let that happen. All right, so Wait, so but I need I thought... you guys to help me to correct the mistake you made because I would have had this whole day to get that thing if you guys hadn't messed up yesterday. Okay. Wait, but wasn't there two files that we got? Some octopus file and then some kraken file? Well, apparently you didn't get the right one. Bro. Oh. Right, okay. Well, yeah. looks like... Well, I know you guys got the evidence to get Mr. Ray arrested, but I don't care about Mr. Ray. I care about Shadowloo. And there's some Shadowloo evidence there that is going to be destroyed. I have some contacts into the police, and I think I can delay these investigators for some time. That's why I wanted you guys to be here quick but you guys take forever to get ready we didn't know that it was that important yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna try to delay these special officers and buy you some time and what i need you to do is get into the office hidden don't make a scene because you know it was easy to find you guys because you guys made a lot of <laughs> made a big mess you were drinking all the time the cameras got you all the time <laughs> And then I, I just... Chinaman, you were at the lobby looking at everyone for about five minutes. I, I cut in and I'm like, whoa, whoa, you could count on me then because I was the guy who essentially was playing things the right way, I think. <laughs> and besides, we Capoeira guys got to look out for each other, if you know what I mean. I like kind of... Oh, you, you're a Capoeira fighter? Hell yeah. Huh. Doesn't look like... <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, I'm not Brazilian. I'm Korean, but I love the style. What can I say? I mean, I wanted to even promote it. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> um, I need you guys to take pictures of these documents and bring them to me. There's a special investigator. I have a contact in the Interpol. There's a Chinese special agent for the Interpol. She's coming here. And I need that evidence to get to her. She's the only one I trust to do this thing. Oh. But you must take the pictures and leave the files where they are. Because I want the Shadow guys to get in and destroy the files and think they got away with it. What? So you need to do this without anyone noticing. 
Can you what, do that? Yeah, yeah, but exactly like what kind of thing are we looking for to take a picture of? It's a file about a special Shadowloo project that is hidden somewhere deep into Mr. Ray's office. Okay. Now, the police is scheduled to be there at 10. We gotta I'm going to try to delay them as much as possible. All right, we'll be on our way there. All right, let's run then. Okay, so I can give someone a ride. Who wants to come with me, Chinaman? Yeah. Oh, I'll go. Uh, huh? Huh? Wait, I thought a couple of our guys were supposed to look out for each other. Here, I'll give you 300 bison dollars. Take that and bring you and Akimi to the, to the office address. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, if you guys would wake up earlier, you could get the bus. You know there's a bus that goes to Las Vegas, right? <laughs> Let's oh. like to talk about that now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah you want to drive, Chinaman? Alright. And he throws you the key. See ya, Weishin. <laughs> See you guys. I just look at Weishin and I'm like, you. <laughs> See you there, don't mess around. <laughs> just drives off. Weishin, roll, roll, drive. Drive. Like little literal drive, okay. <laughs> you have three in drive. Okay. Oh, so that's what drive means? Oh. <laughs> yes, drive actually means drive. Oh, geez, that's hilarious because <laughs> we were thinking this whole time that it meant like the drive to fight. Yeah, that's why I have it for. <laughs> Having drive. <laughs> no, it, it's uh, it it's uh, actually piloting anything from a car or a oh. airplane, helicopter, oh, I guess or anything. Makimi's very talented at oh. that now. <laughs> wow, I guess we all know how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good. <laughs> so, how did you do? Five, five, four. So that's no successes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so it turns out um, it's a manual, oh. and uh, Weishin only knows how to drive automatic. So you kind of enter enter the car and you're Wait, we have like, to jump. We have to swap around. I don't know how to drive this kind of car. <laughs> and then I uh, peek in through the window. I'm like, hey, I bet I could drive it. Yeah. Oh, see you guys later. And uh, huh? what? Huh? <laughs> Denzo s switch places with Wei Xin and switch switch places. Yes. Yeah, switch. And he. Rolls off. I'm like, Bye. Denzel! I'm reaching out dramatically. <laughs> so what about you guys? Mm, I'm trying to dry my well, feet off. Well, we're gonna... Mm -hmm. I guess... I mean, Weishin gave me 300 to use for a taxi, so... Okay. Well, they're used... Look around and there are no taxis. Uh... Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I guess... We could call one. Maybe. Yeah, we I guess so. To. We'll have to go into the hotel to use the phone. Mm, I uh, fine. I'll go in. No, I I can't. I just I can't go. <laughs> I no. I'll go. I'll go. You you also have. Uh, let's say you you might have the contact from your previous uh, cab drivers. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so I'll I'll actually call. Uh, yeah, one of the previous cab drivers that I drove with last time. Who? Uh. The first guy we saw, I can't remember his name. Batman? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you guys uh, caught a ride with Mayonnaise Boy, who's um, the receptionist friend, and the receptionist called... Uh, it's so Lucas Aguiar. Lucas, it's Lucas Aguiar. So Lucas Aguiar is the receptionist, and his friend is called Mayonnaise Boy. He's the one mm -hmm. that gave you a ride to Las Vegas. Yeah. And in Las Vegas, you met Batman, the Indian cab driver, and his friend, who you never learned the name. You you can call any of these. I'll call Batman. He's great. He's so cool. <laughs> hey, do you have a cell phone, or you have to go inside? Uh, I he think I phone, have to I go in. Oh, I do. A social I have media a buff like even. you. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I guess I pull out my cell phone and I call Batman. Yeah, hello, Batman talking. Best hey. cab driver in Las Vegas. Damn right, the best cab driver in Las Vegas and the only. Oh, my friend, I recognize your voice. You're the YouTube fella. Yes, I am. Hey, I watched all your videos last night. Very interesting. Also went to your Facebook. Very sad, very, <laughs> very sad. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's talking about, man. Interesting. Um, 
I guess maybe there's such a bad thing as pub bad publicity after all. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be don't be sad, my friend. Hey, can I help you with something? I was wondering if you could come down to uh, Tsunami, uh, ed uh, the Tsunami Edit Man Hotel. Uh, oh yeah, uh, uh, that place I left you last night. Yeah. Okay, I can go. No problem. All right. It's gonna I be a little expensive though. I could pay for it. But hey. Look at the bright side. At least everybody will fit in the cab because you have a lot less friends now with you, huh? Oh, yeah. You got that right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I made a bad joke. I'm very sorry. <laughs> no, no. It's okay. I'm slowly getting over it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I so he, actually he, liked you. <laughs> so he gets there and you guys enter the cab. Uh, it's going to cost you 180 bison dollars. And I hand that to him happily. And uh, he takes the money and he smiles and says, Don't be don't be too sad, my friend. You're going to make new friends. You're going to be very big star. I know it. Aw, oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I'm just patting his back and we're like, Here, there, there. It's okay. Don't worry. Hey everybody, a Dukemi player here, your storyteller for this Street Fighter RPG adventure, and this is the end of chapter 6 called And I'm Paranoid. If you like what you hear, leave us a comment, let us know about your favorite parts. Also, if you got this from iTunes, maybe leave us a 5 star rating and review so the podcast can get a few more viewers. If you want to get in touch with me, you can do so through Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube at Kemi Player, so don't be shy about reaching out. So that's it for now, and I'll see you next week with another chapter in our first adventure. Until then.